Hey guys, this is Javier and just want to say welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to introduce you or present you my newest battery kit and hopefully the last design that I'm ever going to work on. And it's this baby that you see right here. This is a 1S 24P. There's 24 batteries in series and we are going to have different versions of this one which is either going to be 24 16 or 8 and that's going to allow you to make batteries multiple batteries in just one bus bar for a bigger parallel capacity uh, this battery it's the basic module and the good news is that it has a included fuse pcb in it which means that once you have something like this it has fuses in every single cell or cell level fuse in the positive and the negatives in both sides. It also has a aluminum bus bar but you can use any other material and it has contacts every single uh, in every single cell. So today I'm not only wanting to introduce you to the new kit but I also want to show you how to assemble it and it's fairly simple it looks like the one that you already saw a few months ago which is, comes with a PCB holder like this one and this is to of course put the PCB on it and also protect it from the environment or protect it for a short or something like that and the assembly is straightforward you just put the nuts on it like that just like that and this nuts or the spaces on the sides are for the cells but the one on the middle, it's for the very particular contact that you need for the PCB and the boss bar that you're going to see. Once you're done with that, you're going to end up with something that looks like this. As you can see, it has the nuts for the screws that are going to contact the cells, plus the nut for the screw that is going to contact the boss bar. Once you're done with that, you take your PCB like this and you just place it and you're done basically. Now it doesn't stay there, but you only place it when you need to, to assemble the whole battery. And the way you do that is you take your PCB and your spacer and you take the screw like that. And you're going to place the PCB holder, which is this one, and you put it like that. And that's all you do. You are going to screw in the battery contacts. Of course, you can use a screwdriver, uh, uh, like a, a battery one operated, a battery operated screwdriver, or a power drill. That's the word that I was looking for. Or you can do it by hand. I would suggest to you as a, a drill for this, which is going to be faster. And I will use it on a lower power just to make sure you don't damage something. And once you are done with it, you're going to end up with something that looks like this. As you can see, these are all the terminals or the contacts that you screw in all those screws this is where you make contact with the cells and the la the next thing is that you take a longer screw that comes with the kit and you place it right on the middle that's why you need that special nut that I show you a few seconds before once you're done with that You're going to have three little screws sticking out of the spacer. This is for the boss bar, which basically you just place it and then you just put your nuts on it. It's gonna rain today. It's, I can listen, I can hear thunders. And just like that this is your 
one of the terminals or wire ends, one of your ends. Once you have two of them, like that, you are going to put your cells on it and basically you just close your cells like this. And the last step is to take a longer screw that comes with the kit, right? Just like that. You take your nut and a cup. And just like that you are going to screw in in the middle of the space holder and this is going to make sure that your battery is tight down and doesn't move around and as you can see you're going to end up with a battery kit that looks like this with a module that looks like this which is going to be positive and negative and it's going to be like i said 1s24p and based on the average cell uh, capacity that we find in the market which is 2200 milliamps a module like this is going to have roughly 188 watts in future video i'm going to show you how to connect them in series so you can have a bigger battery and this is the first video of many that are coming talking about this design uh, this is basically the last design but the good thing about this one is that you can technically connect more batteries in just one bus bar instead of having multiple you just have a longer bus bar and now this model became a 1s 48p which means that you have higher capacity and then you could do as you like so there you go guys hope you guys like it uh i know it's been a long time since i made a new video but hopefully now that everything's it's calming down and i have more time on my hands we're going to be able to, to give you what you guys need to hopefully be off grid soon and don't rely that much on utility power. Remember, God bless you. Uh, like and share and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.